It didn't take NBA fans long to realize just how truly dominant the combination of O'Neal and Kobe Bryant was. Teams simply had to pick their poison when going up against the LA Lakers. If they did everything in their power to slow down O'Neal, that's when Kobe would take over. If they tried to zero in on stopping the superstar shooting guard, then that's when O'Neal would dominate inside. Although the dynamic duo eventually split up, they left an impact on the history of the game. Despite the success, the dominant duo had simmering tension between them. Both players have acknowledged the stiffness in their relationship and had to sort it out later in a one-on-one -on -one interview. The reason it appears was that Shaq and Kobe Bryant were two alpha males in one team. A recent video however made fans say that there was only one alpha in the Lakers team of Shaq's time and it was the big Shaq. In a recently resurfaced video of Shaq's in-game dominance where he manhandled the Dallas Mavericks player AC Green, the video sparked a debate about the real alpha in the Lakers team. While fans pointed out that Shaq was the reason Bryant flourished with the Lakers in his initial days, Shaq feels otherwise. In a recent episode of the The Project podcast, O'Neal was asked about his favorite basketball memory. Without hesitation, O'Neal talked about Bryant, saying that despite their harsh words, the respect between the two was always mutual. He said, when everybody thought Kobe and I hated each other, my first championship, 30,000 people in the arena, 700 people on the floor and nobody is touching me but him. Like, he just finds me somehow, and he jumps in my arm. You've got to understand that when you've got two alpha males inside a corporation, it's gonna be some arguments. Shaq belongs to the post-Big Man era, which featured some of the greatest centers in basketball history like Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But, ever since Shaq joined the Lakers in 1996, he was meaner, stronger and more dominant than anyone before him. There is no one like the Big Diesel in the present NBA. Shaq has now become synonymous with dominance in the game. Whatever might have been the equation between the two superstars, the LA Lakers have benefited hugely from the partnership. Shaquille O'Neal was eventually traded to the Miami Heat, where he would go on to win another championship in 2006 alongside rising star Dwayne Wade. Bryant, meanwhile, continued to have success with the Lakers, winning an additional two championships in 2009 and 2010 with the organization. He stayed with the Lakers for his entire 20-year career. That was the story of these two NBA giants. Show us some love and like the video. Subscribe the channel for more such interesting stories. Until next time, never ever forget to shoot your shot.